All right, let's talk about using a uh, wrist gyroscope for adding in some dynamic movements to elbow, wrist, and shoulder. Um, so I have an NSD spinner. I got this one on Amazon. It was about 20 bucks. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and start it. So I have a string, the string that came with it, wrapped around the ball that's inside of this spinner um, to help me start it. Some people can get it to start just by like spinning it with their thumbs or like rolling it on the ground. Uh, I keep the string around because that's the easiest way for me. And the way that this works is that you're going to act like you're swirling an ice cube around a glass. That's the basic motion that you're going to do. And you're going to start out rotating your wrist one direction. You're also going to rotate your wrist the opposite direction. It's really easy to have trouble with that motion at first, so it's okay if you need to like restart. If it sort of like spins all the way down, um, you use your string to get it started again. But the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna do elbow bent and by your side, and you're gonna spin one direction, and you're gonna spin the opposite direction. And after you've done maybe about a minute of spinning one direction, about a minute of spinning the other direction, you can do that in blocks, you can go back and forth. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some supination pronation. So you're going to go back and forth this way, and you might have to sort of find a different tempo to keep the gyroscope moving. But supination pronation means moving your arm from like palm up to palm down. And you might have to come back and do a couple of like spins to get it going. And ideally what we're looking for is some fatigue in your forearm flexors, your forearm extensors. You might feel that in your forearm, you might feel it around the sides of your elbow. That's what we're going for here. You can also change the grip to where you're doing a fingertip grip. That challenges your flexors in your fingers to work a little bit differently and asks you to stabilize around your wrist and your elbow a little bit differently. So there's lots of options for what to do with the spinner. You can get creative, um, but the like basics that I want you to start out with are elbow by your side, spinning one direction, spinning it the opposite direction, um, supination and pronation, and then you can also go up to having your arms straight out in front of you, circles, circles the other side. We're asking the shoulder to stabilize and work a little bit more since elbow is more straight out here. If you're an overhead athlete, like a climber, a volleyball player, you can get your arm up. Fast the spinner.